Good afternoon folks on this glorious day. Um, as you may or may not be aware, uh, the other day me and Riley went to the beach and we decided to leave the place a little bit better than we found it by grabbing some rubbish that wasn't ours and taking it home. Um, the reasoning being that if you try to make something a little bit better than when you've left it, uh, sorry, found it, you make it better, you know what I'm saying, then hopefully, you know, the world gets a little bit tidier and stuff. So we've got this whole basket, including the basket, is what we got from the beach. So I thought we'd just have a little bit of fun with these three. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. They're all hot and bothered and wanting to do other things and go through rubbish. Right, guys, I'm going to tip it over. Don't touch anything, just in case it is. Um, just in case there's, because I know there's some glass in there and stuff. So, a little bit of help, boys. I know, you don't have to have gloves just to hold the basket, son. I know I told you to be careful. Yeah, but just don't touch the rub the um, glass and stuff that we picked up. So, the, this basket, as you can see, the bottom's all gone. That was, um, you know, I picked a few handfuls of stuff up, and then I come across this basket, which is obviously rubbish and plastic. It's horrible plastic. It needed, so I thought I'd, I'd fill it. Now, let's just go through what, you know, I mean, obviously, you've got sort of like the touristy stuff, like the crabbing buckets and stuff like that, you know, so that, that people have left behind. Um, and obviously, you know, you, bags. Look, I, I use this bag to put some more stuff in you know you've got your plastic bottles you've got your broken frisbees you've got your rope um what else have we got in here let's have a look look all these fishing nets fag packets um look at a fishing net uh, you know all sort of like stuff that wildlife won't um appreciate then what else we've got pot. ice cream pot guys what else look plastic bottles um, that looks like a CD case thing. I mean, that that in your foot or your kid's foot, it's going to be some nasty stuff. Um, you know, and then we got, you know, pl black plastic sacks of shit. We actually found an old hat. Um, you know, plastic. I don't know what the bloody hell that is. Um, yeah, you know, it's um, all this sort of stuff. And oh, this one looks like a mistake. They, I think, are biodegradable dog bags, dog poo bags. Uh, obviously not used. I think someone's just had them fly off out of there. But um, it's still nice to, you know, collect them. Mesh, sort of wiry mesh sort of stuff. Mm, you know, um, what one was this? I can't remember what this was. That was just a, a bag, you know, a plastic bag full of sand. You've got your bottle top lids. You've got your, oh, that's an old lighter. That's like a lighter that someone's, you know, ugh, just general rubbish and crap and stuff like that. Um, what is it, Rue? Oh, yeah, look, someone took some butter or whatever it is here. Gold nose. Uh, yeah. And all this rubbish is on the beaches. And look at the fishing net stuff. Horrible if a bird gets caught in that or anything gets caught in that, you know. So... Um, you've got plastic cups, big bits of rope and stuff, you know, and all this, look, the, the old bubbly stuff, the bubble wrap stuff, and my glasses are falling off. Ice cream pot. Ice cream pot. What else can you notice, Rue? Taylor, Dexter? What else shouldn't be? Should, all, should any of this stuff be in the, in, in the beach or in the sea? This is all, oh yeah, yeah, we found a couple of tubs of that, didn't we? Don't. Uh, yeah, I, well, the trouble is we can't use it because we don't know what the bloody hell's happened with it, you know. That, so that goes into there. Um, yeah, guys, look, you know, sort of mesh bags and sort of, you know, plastic stuff and all this sort of stuff. If you see it on the beach, just pick it up and put it in a bag. Just throw it away, you know. I know the council are paid to do it and all that, but it comes to the point where you've just got to make the environment a little bit better ourselves. And... Here's the real big one, guys, and this is why I'm, you know, if you, if you do this with your kids, never, ever, ever um, leave them unsupervised to do it because you've got, and I can't see on the uh, main screen if you can see that, but look at that. Now, that is a bottle top, I believe. That is horrible. You leave that on a, on a beach. Mm, I don't know what it is, mate, but it's, it's sharp glass. Look at that. Oh, can I see that on there? Yeah. You know, and that in a kid's foot, because I think all you kids go um, barefoot on the beach, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. Mm, sometimes, yeah. So, you know, supervise the kids if they're picking up the stuff. Um, but stuff like that left on our beach is absolutely horrible. Um, you know, and you've got your bloody... Oh, look, look at all this, look. 
a lot of this is sea stuff as well you know stuff that's come off of boats and whatever else but the, and this was only about 100 yards uh maybe 200 yards of, of looking for crap um and this is what we found you know usually i come away with a good pocket full or a plastic bag full this time we had that basket and um we filled it there's going to be a backup video to this as well because like i said it isn't it is actually the council's job uh you know to um keep everything tidy clean and tidy we're paying our council tax well <laughs> um we pay council tax and they demand council tax but they don't seem to be picking up on their end of it uh no that looks like um a bucket that's off a bucket or something it's the, the rim of a bucket i think yeah, it's a rim of a bucket, Riley. But, you know, sort of like all this plastic, guys. Um, look after your environment a little bit more. Kids, say bye. Bye.